Guys, what is going on? Arnaldo here from Watchbucks. And today, we're gonna do a little instructional video about what models are still worth picking up at the retail store. So, there are still some models out there, guys, that are worth it. Many are not, okay? So, before you do, come to one of us, dealers here at the Cebo building or wherever you guys like to shop, please understand that there was never a time during history that you could go to Rolex or Mayers and buy a piece and make money off of it. These are high-end retail stores that sell with really, really high premiums. It only happened one time and it was during COVID. Those times are pretty much gone. So I'm going to give you some watches that if you get called on guys and you are expecting to make money you should definitely pass the first one day just guys so these day just that come in steel two-tone yellow two-tone rose you should definitely pass on unless they have wimbledon dials all right definitely you want to pass on anything that has a smooth bezel they usually fetch a lot less money and because they're desired much less than your fluted bezels. Your second ones, anything that has factory diamonds on it, guys, pass on it. Rolex makes these watches with a very high retail value because they use very high end diamonds on their pieces. So they ask for absurd amounts of money for diamond bezels or diamond dials that come factory on these watches, okay? If they do call you for something like a president, let's give a reference number, 228238 or 228235. Those are pretty much in the threshold. You're probably gonna get more or less what you paid for them. You're not gonna make much money, but if you wanna be in good standing with your uh, authorized uh, dealer, then so be it, all right? Anything platinum, guys, pretty much pass on it, okay? Unless it has a crazy dial on it, you know, then those will fetch more. Those will come on your platinum presidents and on your platinum Daytonas. Those are uh, still very, very, very high in the secondary market. So you might want to buy something like that. Submariners, okay? Your steel Submariners. You're not going to make much money on them, guys. Maybe five to a hundred bucks to a thousand dollars on your steel Submariners and your two tones as well. They're pretty much there in the market. I sell them for pretty much the same exact thing, brand new, that Rolex and Mayers does sell them for, okay? If you do get called for something like a Pepsi, a Panda Daytona, steel sport model watches. Those are a little higher than at your retail store. So you might consider buying those. Pepsi, Batman, Panda Daytonas will still be. If you do get called for something two-tone sport model, such as a root beer, that's also worth it. They are a little higher in the secondary market. Okay, so guys, I hope you like these videos. And if you do, please click like and subscribe to all of our social media platforms. Arnaldo from Watchbox. I'll catch you on the next one.